Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today we are going to be designing a very cool Instagram post inside of Canva. So if this is something you'd want to create with me inside of Canva, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Alright, so here we are in Canva and the first thing we are going to do is to always click on create a design. Okay, and uh, we are going to use the Instagram dimensions. So you just have to search for Instagram. Okay, so once you click it, it should open a new canvas for you so that you can be able to start designing inside of Canva. Alright, so now that everything is loaded, what we are going to do is we are first of all going to come into photos okay and if you're on the free version of canva i hope by now you know what you have to do and if this is your first time watching you know any of my tutorials then there are websites like pixabay on splash free pick and the likes you know where you can find free photos from and that's if um you're on the free version of canva okay so we are just going to search for any cool photos so i'll just say um guy holding phone okay this is what i want to you know to use so um once you also search for any photo at all you want to use you can you know just go ahead so i will just search for the perfect photo there's nothing like a perfect photo but you know you know what i mean <laughs> okay so i will search for this guy over here i right click and i set image to background that's what you also have to do okay now you can see with my image the background is already blurred you understand but we are just going to do some few things to it so let's do this right click on the image and detach the image from the background okay then click on any of the corners and hold alt and drag you know your image you understand do not click away position your image how you want it to be let's say i wanted mine to be like this okay after doing this let me just crop okay and let me also crop here okay so before i click away what we are going to do is we will duplicate our image okay so once you duplicate you can see it's been uh, the one behind has now taken the background okay so now i center my image then what i'm going to do is i would crop my image okay so you can see what i'm doing then after we do that we come to edit image okay then in edit image we are going to click on adjust in adjust we're going to increase the blurriness of this one slightly you understand so we are applying something like a glass effect on this particular image then after we do that we press R on our keyboard for rectangle and we are just going to arrange this text over here okay so you also crop this um, shape it's not text you also crop the shape to fit the um, cropped image you have behind then you can change the color to any color at all you want then you reduce the transparency as well you understand so depending on the color you want or the feel you want to go for that's what you can also do so let me use a darker color okay so i think this is a cool color and if you also want to work on your image you can do that you can click on you know the background image come to edit image and uh, you know depending on what you want to do if it's filters you can change the filter of your image okay to anyone at all you want and the photogenic you can also apply any of these cool effects on your image so you, you get the whole idea of this you get it so you can see how my image is um looking right now so let me just choose maybe something like fresco okay so now that we have this what we are going to do is we are going to sprinkle some text and some shapes to give more life to our image okay so i press t on my keyboard for um text okay and i'm just going to say digital digital not digital <laughs> digital okay then i position it here and make it bigger okay so digital i come down and i can say marketing okay I can click away and then um, just arrange the text make sure the alignment is to the left and um, I'll come down and say agency you understand so with something like this I'll change my typeface to Montserrat so Montserrat okay so I'm going to choose the 
classic or if you want to go with the bold you can also go with the bold okay so after i do that this is what i'm going to do and what i can even do is depending on how you know if i want more room once i drag you know my shape it means i also have to drag my image the cropped image you understand so that it doesn't look off okay so now i click on my text click on spacing and i reduce the spacing okay then i also adjust it from here maybe let me reduce it more okay so something like this is looking very cool but i'm not going to just leave it like this i'm going to add some shapes so to do that we press r on our keyboard for shapes and we are just going to crop it according to how our text is looking okay or the height of our text then we arrange it beautifully you understand so this is what we're going to do and i also crop it this way okay then i duplicate it bring it to the bottom okay and also pull this part of it out duplicate bring this one also to the bottom okay and we would send them to the back okay so i send this to the back and i also send this to the back and you can see because of the line spacing of our text is very difficult to adjust to the images so we click on the text come to line spacing and we just increase it a little bit so that we can be able to also adjust our shapes accordingly okay so i move it to the top and it's looking good at the moment so with the first shape at the top i can change the color to yellow okay and the second one the second shape i have over here i can change the color to maybe white okay then with the one over here i can i can change the color to black okay no black okay so when i do that you can see that um the agency isn't showing well so i just select the agency and i can change the color of the agency to white okay so that we have something like this right here so so now what i'm going to do is let me lock these two okay so that i don't move them around i select all of this and i reduce the size a little bit so something like this now i just want to add some dummy text so i just open my browser okay and i just search for dummy text okay so and in this case you can definitely use any um text at all you want okay then i come paste it here so you can see this text is looking too big so i can just choose the ordinary montserrat font or the regular montserrat font and i'm going to just remove some of the unwanted text okay so you can see it's a lot really a lot of oh it looks like i removed everything okay so maybe let me just do this okay so this is what i have at the moment i change the alignment to the left then i reduce the size okay so this is just maybe let's say you wanted to um add some extra text this is what you can do okay okay so i think i reduce i would remove okay so i just wanted two line text over here then what we are going to do is to put something like a tagline mine is no limit to creativity so you can put your tagline over here so i say no limit to creativity okay then i select all and you just have to increase the size a little bit you can also change the color okay to make it stand out a little bit also over here then we are going to add a call to action button you know that's how you know i i think the british that's how you guys get to mention just in case you're watching me from the uk the button <laughs> okay so we come to element and in element you're just going to choose um line and shapes click on c o and uh, you scroll down a little bit and you would find this u shape you have over here so you select this u shape then you would duplicate it okay so once you duplicate it you just have to rotate it to 90 degrees no did i say 90 degrees 180 degrees okay place it on top hold shift and select you know the other one so you have the two of them selected click on group and now you can adjust them how you want to adjust them then we rotate both of them 
to 90 degrees okay so you can see there's some spacing over here you understand so what we are doing we are going to do is we would ungroup them first and take it closer so that we cover those spacing and uh, you can also stretch this part of it so that it doesn't look like a bump okay so then we group them again and you reduce the size so now we have something like this okay so i think let's stretch the side also a little bit okay select this group so we have the two of them here and um, with the, we're just going to add some text so i duplicate bring this here change the color to black okay and i can just say maybe learn more okay so learn more i select all of it then i make it bold okay and i would also increase the size and yeah so you can see i make the alignment center for this one and i position it in here so you can see how this one is looking okay so now that we have this maybe i'll just reduce the size just a little bit if it's not reducing you can increase the size you no know, just zoom in and uh, it will reduce okay so we have something like this over here now we want to add maybe contact us so i come to elements and i click on call or you can just search for contact okay so we have this beautiful um thing so i come to graphics and in graphics i'll just have to look for whatever suits um my vibe okay so since we have circular stuff over here you know, i just want to maybe continue with that so i select this one reduce the size of it okay and i drop it at the bottom okay over here then i can change the color to white or i can also change the color to yellow depending on which one i want to use i think the yellow stands out more okay because it means all our um, call to actions or things like that uh yellow so we just stick to that okay so i duplicate this and bring it down here and i can just say more okay more information call us okay or you can just say for more information let me just put for more in information okay so let's do it like this instead and i'll move to the top reduce the size a little bit okay then i can duplicate any of this okay and just put some numbers this is zero 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 one two three four five six okay so let's say this was my number or the office number so reduce the size a little bit and um, position it here and we use the size more okay then we can change the color to yellow also okay because it's also a call to action then we increase the size of this select all of them arrange them nicely okay so this is what we have at the moment and you can see so what we can do now is there's this space at the top and that will take the logo so i can simply search for logo okay and find any nice logo but this doesn't mean you should do the same what you can what you can do is you can search for you can use your logo not to search you can use your logo or if you are designing this for a client make sure you are using your client's logo okay so i will just choose any sample logo over here so let me just choose this one and reduce the size and move it to the top okay so it's too big reduce it more okay position it here change the color not to if <laughs> okay change the color maybe i'll just reserve my words duplicate and i just put maybe the business name so i can just say what is this okay I was pressing shift for a long time so so i just i say brainer consultant okay yeah i think this is cool i think the name of my dummy company so okay so this is what we have 
so this is what we have been able to create at the moment and i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you had fun creating with me just in case you want more canva tutorials make sure to subscribe and hit on the bell icon the name is benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity i would see you in my next video